Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna show a very simple method for polishing your silver without having to use any kind of uh, paste or a store-bought uh, silver polish. Um, these are just basic ingredients usually laying around the house you can use, and we're gonna polish this spoon. It's a uh, sterling silver. I think the camera's picking it up there. Wallace Sterling, it says, so that's 925 silver. You can see it's not really shining like it should be. Here in the details, there's tarnish on the back. Um, tarnishing going on. And then here in the chain, uh, there's some tarnish inside these details in this silver chain. Um, as well as around this imagery here where the layers come up and just overall there's tarnish especially here there's tarnish and on the back side there's some tarnish so we'll see how well this simple method works but first I'd like to give you the uh, equation now these are not balanced equations okay these are this is just to give you a basic understanding of the chemistry and what's going on uh, with these with this process we'll be using which is uh, we will place these on aluminum foil uh, and there'll be baking soda and salt and boiling water and that's it and that should uh, make an improvement on this silver okay so first of all the tarnish will get an understanding of that so your silver naturally in the air comes in contact with hydrogen sulfide, okay? Hydrogen sulfide, it's in the air. Some people think there's more of it in the air now because fossil fuels, combustion engines, things like that putting it in the air. I don't know uh, if that's all true, but at any rate, this stuff's naturally in our air, and uh, the silver, therefore, comes in contact with it, unless it's in a vacuum, and that has a reaction which causes there to be hydrogen obviously remaining in the air, but the sulfide transitions to the silver and creates the tarnish over time. Okay, so silver, hydrogen sulfide, naturally occurring in the air, creates tarnished silver, silver sulfide, and hydrogen of course stays in the air. Now, aluminum likes sulfur more than silver. So we're going to introduce these two metals to each other, the aluminum and the silver, and that will cause the sulfide with the silver to leave the silver and go to the aluminum because the aluminum likes it more. So you'll take the silver sulfide, the tarnished silver solid form, plus aluminum in a solid form, and that reaction will cause the sulfur to leave the silver and attach to the aluminum, creating aluminum sulfide. Solid, 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 solid. Now, this is an electrochemical uh, reaction. So there's electrical currents going on. What that means is we're interested in the electrons. So the silver will gain electrons, which is being reduced, because remember, electrons are negative. So it's reduced, it's gaining negative energy, it's gaining electrons, while the aluminum is losing the electrons, becoming more positive. Right, protons and electrons, positive proton, electron negative. So that's what's going on, it's an electrical thing, which is where the baking soda and the water and all that comes in. Uh, the baking soda removes aluminum hydroxide, right? Because there's hydrogen naturally in the air and it's having reactions with the aluminum. And so there's aluminum hydroxide, there's a layer of that in the aluminum and you need to remove it. And putting the baking soda, dissolving that in water, and putting it in contact with the aluminum removes that naturally occurring surface of aluminum hydroxide from the aluminum so that this reaction can occur. Notice it's all solids. But there's a layer here around our aluminum that prevents this from happening. That's why you can't just put the silver into aluminum and have it shine up. You've got to get rid of that layer of aluminum hydroxide, okay? And the baking soda removes that. That's why you do the boiling water. The heat uh, encourages the reaction more 
and uh, the baking soda in solution will remove this so that that reaction can take place to shine up your silver. The salt, and I'm not going to go into electricity and all that kind of stuff, but I'll just let you know that the salt makes the electron exchange smoother. Salt keeps balance in the, uh, in the reaction regarding the electrochemical reaction that's taking place, and that makes it the process smoother. So that's why you want to have salt and baking soda in water so that this becomes possible and it happens smoothly. Okay, and then the rotten egg smell comes from hydrogen sulfide, which is produced because you have aluminum sulfide represented here, plus water. That will produce a reaction which produces aluminum hydroxide, okay, and hydrogen sulfide, which is a gas, okay, solid and liquid, and then you have the gas, which produces the rotten egg smell with this, okay? So now we'll go ahead and prepare these to be polished up um, with these ingredients, baking soda, salt, water, aluminum, and we'll shine up our silver that way. All right, so we've got our silver items here, and we've got our aluminum foil, and then something that the items will fit down in, because we just have to cover them. We don't have to fill it all the way up, we just have to cover it. So, I'll use this pot, but I have to line the inside with aluminum, which I'm gonna do now. Okay, and I did wanna mention this. Um, when you put the aluminum in, make sure the shiny side is up, where the reaction takes place, not the dull side, okay? So, let's get this in here now. Okay, we got the spoon in there, we got the chain in there, and uh, I did poke a hole here, so I put another piece of aluminum over it, not a big deal. Um, and so that should work fine. I tried to spread that chain around so that there's more surface area. It's easier for our solution to get in. So now we'll get the baking soda and salt and boiling water going. Okay, so one quarter cup, which might be too much, but this is salt. So one quarter cup, that's probably much more than we need. And then I'll get the baking soda here. Okay, and here's our quarter cup of baking soda. So just add that in. Okay, so that'll, that salt will make sure the electrical process run smooth, the baking soda will remove that layer we talked about on the aluminum foil so that the silver can be shined up by the aluminum. Just gotta get the water boiling. Oh, all right, so we've got the boiling water. We're gonna pour it in here now. Get that reaction going. Okay, and it does smell. All right, that should be enough boiling water. We will let that sit for a half hour and then check on it again. And there should be a noticeable difference in those silver pieces. Well, uh, it's been about 30 minutes. Pull this out. That spoon looks a lot better um, than it did when we started. It's got into those little details and just polished it up nice. And uh, you can see I'm not using gloves or anything. Should be fine to reach in there and grab this stuff. That's looking better. I don't see tarnish against the body or in these little steps or whatever that is. And along the side here, <clears throat> it looks like overall did pretty good. And uh, chain looks better in some areas. So we'll pull that out. And uh, 
I will dry them off and get them under the light where we started so we can see how it did. All right, so I wiped these off. They did get a little cleaner as I was drying them off. Um, you can see here it's much nicer than when we started. The spoon, uh, it's like silver. And uh, we do use these regularly. We eat cereal with them and mix our tea and coffee and stuff with them. This is not something I just stash away. I, I do use it regularly. Um, you can see it even got the tarnish out where it says Wallace Sterling there. So that process does work. Um, it exchanges the tarnish here to the aluminum. Here we uh, also can see it's much better, but not quite as shiny in these little areas. And that's probably because I just used a cloth to wipe it. If you had some kind of a soft brush, I don't want to scratch it with a rough brush, but... Maybe like an old toothbrush or something. Mike could get in there um, when you're wiping it and drying it in order to get a real nice shine uh, in there. Get the tarnish out. The tarnish that was back here is gone, as you can see. Um, this part, if you noticed, it's uh, shined up as well. In the chain, it's shinier. Uh, there is still tarnish in some places. And once again, like there... I think if you got a brush, some kind of brush and brush that, it would it would come right out. Um, but also a chain like this, if somebody was wearing it, their uh, sweat and oil from their skin and stuff might cause it to be where you would need something a little more aggressive than what we did. But nevertheless, you can see that that method does work um, for this reason. This is the, the reason via... Uh, chemistry, the chemistry of what we're doing, and uh, yeah, it works. It's a, a nice, simple, quick, easy method that doesn't require specifically uh, a silver polish, although that might would be good on something where you need a little more aggression. So anyway, just want to do this video on polishing uh, any of your silver you might have, whether it's jewelry or... Uh, stuff you eat with or whatever that is a way that you can do it and if you're into refining and chemistry hopefully this all helps you understand why it works you don't just see that it works but you understand why it works so hope you enjoyed that video